Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline from Knitting House Square and today I have a TikTok testing video for you. So I do watch a lot of TikTok, I'll be the first one to admit. <laughs> and one of my favorite things to watch on TikToks are the Cricut hacks. And one thing I've noticed coming up over and over again are transfer tape alternatives. So today what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna take you through three of the most popular transfer tape alternatives that I see all over TikTok and we're gonna put them to the test. So first up, let's talk about the different transfer tape alternatives that we're gonna be testing out today. So first up, I have probably the most popular one on TikTok. These videos have like millions of views, it's crazy. This one is the Tape Man Blue from Amazon. And essentially what it is, is it's like a little bit tacky and there is no backing or anything like that. So you just roll it out. The idea is that it's less wasteful. We'll put it to the test. Then next up we have the Glad Press and Seal, which is probably the one I was most curious about. And then lastly, something that a lot of us probably have around the house already, which is just a regular lint roller. So putting all three of these to the test. And when I test these out, I'm gonna be using different types of vinyl, so to see how well they pick things up. So I have shimmer vinyl, I have removable vinyl, and then I also have permanent vinyl. And then we're also gonna test it out on a whole bunch of different surfaces. That way we can see if any of these like pick up the surface or leave a residue, anything like that. So we're gonna try out acrylic, wood, painted wood, other vinyl, um, cardstock. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the options. I think that's most of them though. So I'm gonna take you through testing out these three different products and I'll let you know what I think at the end. Okay, so first I wanted to talk about the different vinyls I'm gonna be using and also the different surfaces I have. So in terms of vinyl, I have three different here and I cut out this same butterfly detail on all of them because I thought this was a good tester, lots of little details. So first up, I have the Cricut removable vinyl, all three of these. Then I'm never sure how to say this brand name, but this is the one from Michaels. This is their permanent vinyl. So again, same butterfly. Then lastly, some of my favorite vinyl to work with is I have some shimmer vinyl. So this is what I use a lot. Mainly I use all of these for like my wedding signs. Love this stuff. So this is the Paper Studio. In terms of the different surfaces, I'm gonna try out these different materials on. I got these two signs at the Dollar Tree. I thought these would be good testers. So first, this one's just natural wood, unpainted. Then I took another one of them and I painted this version. So painted black, and then this one just has a shimmer marker on it. Just some regular old card stock, some other vinyl. And then I do have a big piece of acrylic as well on the ground over there that I'll put up on the surface when it's time for that one. It's just really large. <laughs> okay, so for all of these, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each material. So I'm gonna start with the press and seal here. And I'm gonna put the vinyl that I'm currently picking up on a little post-it note up here in the corner so you can see what I'm working with. All of them I'm just gonna use my regular Cricut scraping tool on, and then I'm gonna test out the various different surfaces that I have. So it is not picking up this design really at all. Got a little bit more of it that time. So I'm just gonna cut this in half real quick so I can try a few different surfaces. First, let's try it on the natural wood. That worked and it didn't pick up any of the wood. Next up, we just have some cardstock. Worked again, didn't pick up any of the cardstock. Okay. 
This is some vinyl. No residue left. And now we have some acrylic. It's gonna be hard to see with my ring light there, but there is no residue left from that press and seal. So since the press and seal did so well on the shimmer one, which I would consider the hardest one to pick up, I'm actually just gonna move on past the permanent vinyl to the removable vinyl, because I feel like this one for me is probably just about the second hardest to pick up. And I have found that when I'm scraping this on here, see like when I do it on the top side of my work, it kind of bunches up. So it actually works a lot better if I do it on the back side. It's not quite catching some of the spots again. So it was able to pick up the removable vinyl. I'll just stick this one in my cardstock as well. Yep, yeah, there was the removable vinyl and I did end up with a little bit of a bubble there. So let's start off with my final thoughts on the VAD press and seal. So this one I thought was a really good alternative. And I also like the idea that this is just something that you could have in your kitchen. And then if you need some transfer tape real quick, <laughs> you could just go down there and grab some. So I don't have like a giant roll of transfer tape just sitting around that can't be used for anything else. So I like that a lot. I'll also put the price per square foot down in the corner of the screen. That way you can see how this one compares to other transfer tape alternatives. The one downside, or I'd say there's probably like two downsides to using this alternative. So first up is that it does, it can be, it's like stretchy, right? Because the idea is that you're gonna like stretch it over a bowl or something like that to get it a really tight seal. That doesn't necessarily work out quite as well when you're using like a Cricut and a scraper, right? Because you're gonna accidentally start stretching out the press and seal. So one way that I found to kind of get around this is you just flip it over to the other side and then use the scraper tool on the back instead of on the front. So quick fix there. One other thing that I noticed is that it really kind of depended on the design I was picking up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna show all the clips in the video, but it did have a little bit of trouble on the shimmer vinyl picking up text letters. So that may be something to keep in mind as well, but I would say if you're in a pinch and you need something to use, it works pretty well. Next up, let's try the lint roller. First up, I have my shimmer paper. So very easy to pick up the design. I guess the main downside to this would also be it only comes in little sheets. So first up, let's try the natural wood. part still isn't sticking down. Okay, 
Okay, so I did have some trouble with that one antenna there. You can see there's a bit of a break in it. And it definitely did pick up some of the wood there. Let me get a black background so you can see it better. So it definitely did pick up some of the wood. Let's try this cardstock. So here again, I'm having trouble with the smaller details. It doesn't want to let go of them. And then it's going to be hard to pick this up on camera, but it did pull up some of the cardstock paper as well, just with its tackiness. So now let's try vinyl on vinyl. And there is no residue left over. Last up, let's try the acrylic. And there is no residue left over at all. So now real quick, let's just try with the lint roller, some removable vinyl. And let's give the wood sign one more try. Okay, so still picked up a few pieces of the wood. And that one I did have to do a couple different tries to actually get this one to stick down to the board rather than to the transfer tape or <laughs> the lint roller. Next up we have the lint roller. So this one worked better than I expected, so I was really impressed by that. I would say the one downside to this one is sometimes it's a little bit too tacky, right? So it sticks a little bit too much to whatever you're trying to put down and sometimes it's hard to get it off of the lint roller. The other downside to this alternative, I'd say, is just the size of the sheets, right? So you're gonna be limited to the size of one of these little tiny lint roller sheets. So depends on where you're trying to pick up. But again, kind of just like the press and seal, I would say this does work out really well if you're just in the need for something to pick up some vinyl really quick. Works out pretty well. I would also guess that the price per square foot that I'm gonna put in the bottom of the screen for this one is pretty high. But if you already have some laying around your house, why not try it out? So now last up, let's try some of this TikTok famous Amazon transfer tape with no backing. So online they show just unraveling a portion of this and then just laying your designs right onto it. So let's do one removable vinyl. One permanent vinyl. And then up here at the top, I have some text in the shimmer vinyl. So we'll do the shimmer vinyl and the tag for that one up here at the top. Okay, now I'm just supposed to cut this. Stick these down a bit more. Now cut each one of these out. So 
First up, let's try this removable vinyl. I'm gonna cut this a little smaller. Came off pretty easily. Let's try it on the wood sign. That worked really well. And it did pick up kind of just like the lint roller. It did pick up a few pieces of the sign. The sheet of paper. Really nice, didn't pick up any of the paper at all. Let's try some I guess let's try the shimmer. So it will not pick up the shimmer. So no shimmer for this paper. I guess let's just try the permanent vinyl real quick. Let's try putting this on the acrylic. And I don't see any residue left over at all. Now last up we have the Tate Man Blue, the really TikTok famous one. <laughs> um, and this one, I think just based off of my metal math here, that this one's going to be pretty high per square foot, especially compared to the press and seal, but I'll put that one down in the corner. Also the prices on Amazon are fluctuating all the time, but I'll link it down below if you're curious to see how much it's currently selling for. It worked all right. It definitely did not work on the shimmer vinyl, which is a big downside to me. That's probably my favorite type of vinyl to work with. So if it doesn't work on that, I'm probably not gonna use that type of transfer tape, but it does work. It is a lot of transfer tape that you're getting in this roll. So if you go through a lot of transfer tape, it may be worthwhile for you. But yeah, I would say it worked all right. It didn't wow me to, <laughs> to think this is the best thing that's ever been invented, but I would actually say if I were reaching for something, I'd probably reach for one of the other two before I reached for this one. So my honest opinion there. Thank you so much for joining me today as we tested out all these transfer tape alternatives. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you'd like to see me test out for the Cricut machines, please let me know in those comments down below. I have so much fun making these videos. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. That way you stay up to date on all my future videos. I'll see you next time.